Let's get salty! Hey everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video and Mercenaries has been revealed. Um, we had the nerfs, we already talked about that earlier today. I was not very happy. Although I recorded that like days ago. Um, I've known about it for a while and I've been really upset about it for a while. Um, but yeah, um, I don't even know what to say. Like I literally, after the mercenaries reveal happened, I went on stream onto Twitch and for someone like me, I averaged like three to 400 viewers. I had over a thousand people tune in within 20 minutes because people are not happy. People are really upset. Um, so if you're not aware, mercenaries is revealed. Uh, there was a YouTube and a Twitch live stream and they show the mode and I watched the whole thing. I paid a lot of attention. I tried to pay as much attention as I could. And I don't really know what the mode's about. Like it was, there was so much thrown at us. Um, there was so much thrown at us. And I'm not gonna explain this the mode here for you guys. Cause literally there's very little I can understand because there, there's just a bunch of stuff they just show you like graphics and attacking and the one thing though i will say they were very clear about is you can pre-order it and it has its own pack system so mercenaries is going to launch live in october and it's going to have its own pack system uh you can pre-order it and uh, if you head over uh, well just one second here so yeah you can pre-order three separate bundles uh 63 dollars canadian for these two you get 50 packs of which i don't know what's in them and a hero or something, I, which I don't know what they do. And uh, another one for 30, uh, 750, 30 packs and a hero. I don't know what it does with packs. I don't know what it contains. And everything I saw from the game in the mode, and by the way, the aesthetics, the visual, I'll try and show some of it. I, I don't think it looks that appealing. I don't know. It looks like, it just doesn't look that fantastic. But um, there's PVP in the mode. There's a progressive battling. There's, you can, get different heroes and level them up and level up their bit weapons and abilities. And the whole time I'm watching this, I'm just thinking Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> I'm just thinking this looks very much like one of those gotcha games. Um, and that's it. It's not very, it, like, I remember I was hoping for like a Slay the Spire thing. This looks nothing like Slay the Spire. It's just, it looks very much like a gotcha mode and they are straight out the gate monetizing the crap out of this. Like this is, super aggressive where they want these pre-order bundles without really properly educating people on this. I'll, I'll link below. There's like three different news articles from Play Hearthstone trying to explain them out. So if you want to try and figure it out and maybe if, if I can figure it out and what's going on with it, um, I can let you all know. But to me, it's like they've been hyping this mode up for so long. It's been postponed and everyone's like really excited. And all I'm seeing everywhere is people just dunking on this. Um, I'm seeing, uh, don't you guys have money or cat, you know, like the, the, don't you guys have phones meme? I'm seeing pay the spire. Um, I'm seeing, oh, it, it's got packs. I'm not interested. Um, people didn't understand what the heck the game was. I was checking out Regis' stream. He's confused. He's trying to figure it out. I saw like Kibler on Twitter talking about how like, it doesn't really seem that great to, like nobody seems that excited this just seems like a mobile game gotcha thing and like i already logged into hearthstone and saw or sorry i'll, I'll switch the scene over here I, I logged into hearthstone and saw this i saw this thing this like pop-up pre-order what am i pre-ordering i don't know um the details i do know from what i've read on twitter or from celestalon who's blocked me on twitter because i've been critical and well apparently they don't listen to criticism we'll talk about that in in a little bit um that you can buy packs with mercenary uh mercenary packs with hearthstone gold so you want to you know, split your resources to try and pay for both games with gold. Well, you can do that or you can earn it for free in the game. But again, same with Hearthstone, it's free to play, but we don't know how long it'll take to acquire the stuff. And there's duplicate protection and things like that. But it's like, this game is so expensive. This game, like we've talked about this, what this whole battle pass rant was about not that long ago. This game is so ridiculously expensive. It's gotten slightly better, but it's still ridiculous. And now they're adding this ultra expensive mercenaries mode. Like it's, it looks at priced as aggressive as Hearthstone, if not more. And now I'm supposed to get excited for this new mode that's super paywalled, really confusing. And just like, and the, the regular game itself. And this is what my big point I want to make in this video is they have put so much time and effort into a mode that nobody asked for. Let's be real. Nobody asked for mercenaries. Nobody. This is their thing. 
what we have asked for is you know better balanced hearthstone game a better you know a better operating client a tournament mode all these features we'd love to see added to the game all these things updated they've all been put on hold put on hold because they've been putting all their resources into mercenaries into a raid shadow legends s game that wants more money like a lot more money from us when they won't even update the game to a acceptable standard that we've already paid for on top of all this that's what i'm upset about and Igzar, like uh, i'm gonna just i'm gonna throw Igzar under the bus on this i'm sorry like i know they're like don't fling the devs don't criticize the devs all this I'm going to criticize the devs. I'm criticizing Ixar specifically here. And it's in it's not just the wild stuff. The wild nerfs that are absolute, well, they're not existent. They're a complete joke. He said they don't want to, I'll show this tweet, that they don't want to alter, you know, cards um, for wild that, but and all that. And I'm just like, you literally implemented a ban system. Ban the demon seed from wild. You put that there. I don't see any wild players crying saying, don't ban the demon seed, please don't. No, I think most people would understand that and then it would open up, you know, some other stuff. There probably, of course, will be other problems, but Warlock's been dominating for over a year. But still, you have a ban system. You choose not to use it. That's on you. That's not on us. That's on you. But the other thing is all these modes I'm talking about, like all the stuff we've wanted for so long, like a tournament mode, all these different things, the game to run better, to feel better, to be better balanced, to have better balance testing, all this stuff. They have said, we we can't do this. We put all of our resources, you know, towards, towards this mercenaries thing. And I'm like, you know what? It's probably just Activision gouging, you know? It's Activision saying, we need money. And so Clark Hellscream tweeted this out. He tweeted this out saying, what new modes would you like to see in the game? What new stuff? And I responded very, very jadedly, very negatively, because I feel this way, because stuff like this and all the other stuff that, what's the point in asking for anything? We never get any of it. And it seems to me, and I was trying to vouch for them and like just say, it, it must be Activision being greedy and forcing the devs to not put in stuff that they would love to put in. Like I said, I'm sure the devs would love to see a tournament mode, love to see things updated, a wild open. They would love that. But Blizzard's like, no, nah, we can't make money off of it. So, you know, their their hands are tied. But no, Xer himself responded that everyone at Blizzard is great. Everyone, you know, is is awesome with them and they're all fantastic. Lawsuit. I guess permitting and all that. And um yeah, it's we it's just if the, it's not in the game it's cuz we disagree and we don't think it should be in there or it's just on a laundry list that's not as important as mercenaries or other stuff like that. So it's on the devs. And uh, I keep I, you know, I, I I try to never say anything negative about the devs ever. I I never do it. But I'm going to say it here. We want stuff in the game we have paid for that you promised literally tournament modes promised years ago never happened as well as tons of other improvements that have never happened and your reason for that is so i can spend over 200 dollars on mercenaries pre-orders on top of over 200 dollars on hearthstone pre-orders on top of battlegrounds portraits that are aggressively priced constantly now shoved down our throats they just want money. It's what it feels like. It's what it feels like now. It's crazy. Like, I know they're a business. I know they need to make money. But my God, where does it stop? Why, why can't you update your own regular game that we love? Or, well, I don't know how much I love it anymore because you keep destroying everything I love about it. But, like, updating it so I can play Hearthstone and enjoy Hearthstone. Hell, Hearthstone is its own little subcategory in the game now. If you load Hearthstone, Hearthstone isn't Hearthstone. Is it even Hearthstone anymore? I don't know. I'm losing my mind. It's like, I'm so sick of being negative and uh, you know, Solemn just basically quit Hearthstone. Um, Dexter's rarely uploading. He seems very frustrated. I see Regis being frustrated. I see Kibler being frustrated. I see so many people in the Hearthstone scene so frustrated, so angry, so unhappy. And a lot of them are biting their tongue and holding it in. But God damn it, man. What the hell are you doing to this game? What's going on, man? Like, I'm, this is the first time in seven years I'm contemplating quitting this game. And I have been addicted. I have played it every day for the last seven years. I make videos about it every day. It's all I freaking think about, man. It's all I do. I'm getting that point. I'm ready to think about walking because they're killing the game. 
They're not listening to their community. They're doing what they want. And they let the the pros or whoever, whoever says they like it, they listen to those people. They'll like their tweets. They'll respond to their tweets. And if you don't like it, you either get blocked or ignored. And they don't listen to you. And I thought the game's for everybody, not just for the people that only like every decision you make. And, you know, it's your vision and your vision only, and everybody else can screw off. And, uh, yeah, I'm not impressed with anything going on in Hearthstone right now. I wanted to be excited for Mercenaries, but I, I can't be. I don't know what it is. I just know it's expensive. And I do know that the regular Hearthstone game itself sucks right now, badly, for a lot of people. Wild is just a dumpster fire, and the community just seems to be really ignored. And uh, that's it. I'll leave it at that. Um um yeah <laughs> i don't know we'll go back to regular hearthstone content tomorrow on the channel but <sighs> i don't know i don't know how much longer i i can lie. let me know what you guys think in the comments maybe i'm completely over exaggerating as always and losing my mind but let me know i i i'm just i'm losing it and uh, i've been fighting for like over a year and a half now on youtube and i feel like it's just gotten worse and um i don't know Maybe it will be time to, to join Solemn or the other guys, other countless people that have left this game, Disguised Toast, you know, all these people that have left. I don't want to, but man, they're really trying to make me. So if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day and stay salty, my friends.